right, let's get on with this show, Max. Let's get this puppy on the road. Uh, no puppies should wait, ever wait, be wait, on wait, the road. Wait. Exactly. No, pu- no puppies have been hiring in the process. We don't. Yeah, we haven't hired any puppy. Oh, God. Have you seen the thing on the Instagram? So sorry. to. I'm just, I've got to show this. It's going to be my most popular Instagram post ever. Toilet? Uh, it's what? what? No, no, it's not the toilet. No. It's not the toilet. No, check. I, uh, no. Uh, no. No, wait on a second. I've, I've lost the screen. Where are you? <laughs> where I, i've okay i'm here okay it's not Hello. there it's not there Hi. it's not there is it desktop four no i don't think so Crap. desktop four now you're just showing off no no i don't have four computers they're, they're virtual max the virtual computers oh i know what i do i click there there we go check this out this oh no not that someone else's that is my dad pushing a dog in a pram and the reason he's pushing a dog in a pram, you know, unicorn, that's all you get. The reason he's pushing a dog in a pram is because it's my sister's dog. My dog's too old. And it's not a joke. It's not like a setup for anything. It's like genuinely, that's how she gets her dog around. She pushes along. She's got a pram. She bought a children's pram. And she's got this old dog called Treacle. And she just pushes the dog along. <laughs> they go for walks. So my dad, who's in his 90s, pushes the Treacle, dog along as Treacle well. Treacle suddenly became tricycle. Oh, that's very good. You did. <laughs> so on this show today, Max, what we're going to do is talk about um, plumbing in my rocket. I'm yeah, really excited. How to sp- plumb a rocket? Because we actually, we, we should really go down to the technique on how to plumb a rocket. Yeah, our espresso machine. And, um, and, and uh, I mean, obviously, I, I don't know how. This is why it's so exciting. This is why people tune in. They don't tune in for facts. Yeah, exactly. They tune in to exactly, see me. Because we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they tune in to see me lurch from disaster to disaster. Uh, that's a lot more fun than all these knowledgeable people out and there. Actually, actually, wait, let me open these yeah. by saying last time we let, uh, hello viewers. Last time we left Nick with a disassembled um, uh, hand grinder. Mm. Has he been able <laughs> to reassemble yes. it? Yes, but the numbers are totally different. <laughs> uh, I don't I can't explain that. The numbers bear no resemblance to 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 you know the grind settings that we used to have. Um, so, but you know it works. So you it haven't works. zeroed it again. I use, you say that like oh you just zero it, Nick. I followed <laughs> your instructions, Max, and it, it's like three numbers different. Oh, that's okay, but you know that it's three number different. So you at the end of the question. day, who cares? I am, I am actually in general purposes in the scheme of the world a relativist because you know you've got relativists and absolutists. Those okay. people who believe that their truth is the truth, right is right, wrong is wrong, and then those people who believe that according to the context of society and the norms of society and everything else, that those get reinterpreted. If you want to know who's a relativist, the church, right? No longer are they torturing people and putting them, you know, setting them on fire because they're witches, but they actually now have moved to the times. I am also, much like the Pope, a relativist. I mean, me and the Pope. So you're the Pope. I'm just saying that the Pope and I aren't that different. Um, I'm possibly slightly better looking. <laughs> not sure. <laughs> I'm definitely not sure about that, actually. I've got, a, I've got I'm in a horrible situation where I've, I, by accident, I've got two mirrors in the bathroom because they've taken the mirrors off of a wardrobe and you can and they put it behind. in the bathroom because they're getting new carpets put in. And now I can see myself from all angles and it's a terrifying. <laughs> Never do that. I mean, do no. it when you're young. And then when you get to a certain age, no, no, get no, rid no, of no, all no, the actually, mirrors. Don't even do it when you're young because you might find out that you start getting a bold patch. Uh, yeah, yeah. So don't do it when you're young. So we're going to plumb in a rocket. I've yes. got, I'm, hear that? I'm, oh, Jesus. Uh, I've come prepared with you things. No, no, yeah, it's kind of, hopefully, hopefully it's come off on the right way. Um, yeah, we've got mm. nobody talking about the steps that I am taking along the journey of plumbing my rocket. I'm so excited, and I tell you, it's not for the reasons that you think. What have you got there? Why are you doing that? Why are you why are you bringing up your grinder? I'm having a conversation about plumbing in a rocket. You're going to plumb in your hand grinder. Product I don't think you placement. need to do that, Max. It's a grinder. Pro- product and it's placement. Also not- I want money. <laughs> Oh, you want to product place it? Okay, put it away. Oh, oh. <laughs> Did you see the, um, who was it? It was like the football people for the football thing, the show, the football show game. Tonight. Yes, yes. And exactly. he had I'm like two bad. bottles of Coca-Cola exactly placed perfectly. Is Gerald going to pay you for that advert spot? We should charge him. I don't him. know. I'll, try. I'll just send him a bill. 
See if people see. Hey, Gerald. Here's the invoice for that avatorial avatorial that we did for you. Yeah. So <laughs> we're going to talk. Me? Yeah. Probably we should get into that. Just send people bills. It used to work. You send people bills. If it's below a certain amount, they used to just pay it. Because uh, okay. there's too much effort to go and check them. That was an old scam. It doesn't work anymore. It's all electronic and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's bad. So what we're going to do, so I had a chat. How to you. plan by rocket. What yeah. type of do? Why? First of all, why do you want to plan by rocket? Well, actually, that's you're getting to the you're getting to the money shot right up front uh, because I thought I thought I am, no, I am a no frills person. You know, you know, yeah. me. I, have a, I am a no frills guy. Yeah, yeah, we can tell by the way you dress. So um, there's <laughs> there's a, there's a uh, there were initially you go into people. Why do people plan their machines? They say, well, you know, it's like uh, you get the whole line fed pre-infusion blah 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 okay yeah and and that's also what i was thinking i'm thinking oh yes you know my line fed pre-infusion that's why i want to have it you know and you know you don't have to fill up the water tank but the thing is filling up the water tank is quite soothing to me it's a bit like watering my plants mm. you know i've got a little i've got a little watering pot for the back of my rocket and i take the top off and i've got really good at anticipating when it needs water, just like my plants. I go and talk to my plants in the morning. How thirsty are you? Ooh, my poor dear. You know, I put a little bit more water in. And same thing with the rocket. I, I kind of know. It's not that at all. But there is one, there is one thing that I'm very excited about. Mm -hmm. Very excited about it. And I've kind of, this clue is right here. The drip tray. Yes. Aha. It is the drip tray. This is the biggest, my biggest bugbear is emptying the drip tray mm -hmm. and let me just show you for the people who are listening <laughs> for the people who are in, the yes. people who are listening look uh, carefully once again at your podcast look carefully, look carefully at carefully. your phone and you should be able to see that there is a um there is an a-hole there. there's a hole it's not an a-hole there's just a hole and on the other end the other side of it there's like a little nut mm -hmm. Basically, it's a hole. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a, a hole, hole with a plug. Yeah, it's a hole with a plug, and um, and that apparently plugs into uh, you drain the water. Yes, automatically with it. Yes. You never have to empty your drip tray. No, but you will be a little more monkey. Well, that is the question. The question is because every time right now when I empty it. I wash it and clean it. Ah, you're not going to do I, that. If I never do that, is it going to turn into a big grungy swamp? Um, the short answer to that is yes. Mm. Yes, it will. Mm. And the long answer, sorry, the short answer is yes. The long answer is yes, it will. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Well, um, that's a little disappointing. I thought there was going to be some magic answer. Um, but okay. There's no magic answer. Uh, you, can so that's, always, you can always pour water on it and clean it while it's on there. That's actually easier to rinse if you if you want, because you would just pour hot water on it. That's true. That is actually true. You see, I knew there would be a magic solution. You just need to understand. Yes. You need to ask. Be a bit patient. However, oh. the pipe is going to be very monkey. So you want to hide the pipe underneath it. Oh. Actually, it's a good point. Um, entertain the viewers while I just quickly go and get the um, <clears throat> the attachment box. Oh my God! <laughs> he just left. He just left me alone. I have no idea where he's gone now. But oh wait, hold on! I actually already had the attachment box. I just forgot I had it. Here it is. Ah, right, so... ladies and gentlemen, Nick Basket. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm in charge. I'm in I charge have... here. I run this show. Uh, so uh, we've got a box. Uh, I'm box. hoping I'm hoping something's in it because I haven't looked in here for a long time, not since I bought the machine, and I'm pretty sure I left all of the the bits necessary to plumb in the machine in the box. Let me just because it's happening on Monday. Oh, he's coming to tomorrow. check it on Monday. Uh huh. He's not going to plumb it in on Monday, but there's more to it than just plumbing it in. See, I think being a non-technical person, when someone says I need to plumb your machine in, mm -hmm. some guy whose name is almost certainly going to be Jack. And in this case, it's Adrian. But, you know, I just think of them as Jack. We'll come around in an overall. Oh, it'll be like, um, like Luigi. Luigi will come around. Yeah. 
right? Mario, Mario and Luigi brothers will come around. Mario and Luigi will come around. Yeah, eat some magic mushrooms. Yeah, they'll have some magic mushrooms and they'll, they'll go, a la plummet in. Uh, and then they will just, they'll just plummet in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, they get a pipe, you give them a pipe and you hope it's the right pipe. Like mm. me, literally, I don't know what I'm giving them. I'm like, here. And I'll pass them the box with hopefully the stuff in it that I haven't lost anything, but I can't remember if I've lost anything or not. Because and then I'll run remember, away to another room. If you remember hmm? it, you haven't lost it. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's the whole no, point. <laughs> well, I don't remember anything. Uh, so I've got stuff in there from before. But what I'll do is I I'll then run away. I see a pipe in there. I actually see a compression fitting. So that is a pipe for the water going in. That looks so, good. Yeah, so I've got a pipe. Yes, that's good. That's the, I'm that's also the water, water to go in. Actually, hold on to that because do not let it go until you until you, you plumb it in the machine because they are really difficult to get by. Difficult to, to do what? To find. Are they? Yeah. Well, it's just as well I held on to it. Okay. All right. So I've got that. Uh, then, then um, I've got this. Is this for the, uh, this is a clear plastic yeah, tube with yeah, an elastic that, band. That looks like it. Yes. The yeah. drip tray one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. You probably then, want um, uh, an L-shaped elbow. Hold on. With underneath. I've got my, I've got my steam nozzle. I think that's the four hole. Oh no, that's the two hole. Oh, that's the two hole steam nozzle, which means I've got the four hole one in, which explains why it, it's very aggressive steaming. It explains why I repaint the kitchen every time I try to make a cappuccino. Yeah, when are you coming around? Um, okay, I'm on my way. No, don't come around. Uh, that, was, that was a polite invitation. Um, <laughs> <laughs> don't actually expect you to come. It's always like when, you say, when somebody says to you, oh, you must come to dinner, and you go, oh, I'd love to. Let me just check my diary. How's Tuesday? And you look at their face, and they're like, oh, oh, oh I, I'm Tuesday. I, I, I'll have to check with the wife and uh, get back to you. And you're uh -huh. like, or oh, Wednesday or Thursday or Friday. I mean, whenever your wife's free, pretty much any time this week, next week, or the week after. Uh, <laughs> very cruel. That is very yeah. cruel. No one actually, in England, when we invite you to dinner, it doesn't really mean we want you around for dinner. Yes, it's, uh, yo, you totally should come, but don't. Yeah, this is the way it goes. This is the because we realize that most of our most of our listeners are actually in America, so this is um, this is also a good opportunity for us to understand this cultural America, exchange and lesson. Hmm? I also think it works in America. It probably does. Um, it probably does. But yeah, over here, over here, uh, we say things we don't mean, and but the other person knows you don't mean them, but they appreciate you pretending to care. <laughs> yes, it's, a, it's all a facade. It's a facade. A facade. It's a facade, a young man. You must come to dinner. I would simply love to. Well, we'll we'll talk. Let's let's keep in touch. Yes. Uh, that means I'll never talk to you again. Uh, go away now. And um, it was uh, very unpleasant. And yeah, that's it. That's it. So I've got the I've got the pipe. I've got two pipes. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought it came. It would just be he'd come round and he would literally put a spanner in, drill a hole, plug it in, ten minutes, fifteen minutes with a cup of tea, and he's on his way. It's not like that at all. No, uh, no, it's a day. Probably and, a day. Okay, I actually didn't know that. So that you can elaborate. Why is it a day? Well, so you have to first of all, you have to split the water flow, the the, the water feed, like if it was in a um, dishwasher. Ah, yeah. Machine. So you yeah, have the, that's the, true. The, the y thing. Yeah. So one goes to you could you could take it from an appliance, for example. Yeah. So let's say you have a, a dishwasher next to the sink, because that's the most likely thing that you have, or a washing machine. You split that in two with a splitter, with a with a Y attachment. Yeah. And in one, you reattach the washing machine or whatever you have. And in the other one, you you take the water to a soft water softening unit. That's very important because you can't plumb your coffee machine with direct with direct water because mm -hmm. it would be awful because it would be super full of lime scale and everything mm -hmm. and everything i mean everything mm. so that would be a mess not a good idea mm -hmm. so you have to go through the, the water softener or the water treatment unit especially made for coffee machines yes install those first 
and then from there take the derivation and go into the coffee machine yeah that's right so, and you have to fit all of that nicely under a cupboard yeah plus right. you have to go behind the, the coffee machine under the the, the, the cupboard the, the, the surface and that is also it requires drilling it requires a bit of so it is a bit of a faff, but if you own the place and you have a coffee machine that is worth climbing in, it's a no-brainer. As yeah. long as it's close enough to the to the to the sink. Exactly. So being a smart guy, um, you I have totally the sink buy... here and the coffee machine is in the other room. I no, it's right next to the sink, um, but it's total serendipity. Uh, <laughs> it was a complete accident, obviously, um, but I do feel very smug. Uh, about having made that decision. So I tell you what, I'm going to tell you actually mm -hmm. the process of how I'm going going about it and what filter I'm using. But before I do tell you what uh, what um, filter I'm going with and and the procedure, just to elaborate a little bit on the procedure, I want to tell you about <laughs> product placement. No, I product want to tell placement. you about the coffee that I'm drinking at the moment. What you can be about the coffee you're drinking. I've actually got two bags uh, I want to talk about. This first does it, one. Does it come in beans? Yeah, this is a, wow. this is a beanie coffee. Uh, it's very beany. Uh, in fact, know. I'd say, it's, I'm going to take a wild guess. I'm going to say it's 100% beans. Um, wow. Look wow. at that. Look at that. They're all beans. All of them. Wow. Um, all, all of these coffees being beans. All, this whole bag is beans. Uh, there's no non-bean wow. coffee in there. I can't put it back in now. I'm going to have to be stuck with this. <laughs> Coffee in my hand. Why did I do that? I'm not left handed. Let me try my right hand. So, this is, um, <laughs> so you know that <laughs> let me try and get the name without getting all over the floor. Hold on. Just, I can't do two things at once. Don't talk no, to no. me. There it is. It's fine. Um, so, this is beans from Tanzania. So, this is from uh, Farm to Home Coffee. We're giving away a kilo of their Ethiopian beans. Now, there'll be a link below. Mm -hmm. uh, unless, of course, you're on the podcast, in which case it'll be you'll swipe somewhere. And it's, there'll be a link. It's a link. Show notes. There's link a link. Here, go somewhere. look at the link. There is a link. Uh, if you absolutely can't find the link, just just go to bartalks.net forward slash giveaway or one word. Give it away. Um, give it away. Give it away now. Yeah. No, it's just giveaway. Oh, that is a good URL, but people might have a difficult time typing that in. Um. <laughs> And uh, and all the details, all the details on on how to enter there is no purchase necessary. Every month we give away a kilo of beans. This month, and by the way, we're also listing the winners on that page, so you know it's all you know legit. Mm -hmm. uh, it's UK only, it's so you have to be in the UK because I'm not sending it to Abu Dhabi or you know uh, Montenegro or anything like that. Um, and uh, I haven't I haven't won it yet though. Yeah, Max keeps trying to enter. Uh, in influence, uh, got a strong future in politics there, Max. Um, uh, by the way, that kind of style. But <laughs> um, but no, uh, we're not giving this away to friends. It is only being given away. Uh, well, we, we might be enemies. friends. Only to enemies. Only, only people we don't like. No, it's not. <laughs> <the> people so, <laughs> if we like you, you're not getting it. Yeah. Uh, no, we're not giving. This is this is going to anybody in the UK, in the mainland UK. Um, we've been. We're doing their kilo of Ethiopian beans. I've had their Ethiopian beans. I've had their Uganda beans. There's four of them. And how is it? This one, I've got to say, and it's odd because we're giving away the Ethiopians, but I mean, I hadn't tried this before. This is actually my favorite. I would tell you, even if you win the Ethiopian beans, try this Tanzanian. I really, really like it. And not only that, I'm going to shock you, Max. Sit down. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, you're sitting down. Uh, even my ex likes this. Wow. I doesn't like any of my coffees. I think this is possibly only the second coffee that I've made that she actually likes. Did she like it or was it um, you should come for dinner? No, it, it was like she actually liked. No, she came around for, for we, we got up at, we, we left the house at seven this morning. Uh, we met up, had a coffee and left at seven this morning to go back to the old place and, and do some cleaning out. And, um, and so I made her a coffee. And she's like, I really want to drink your coffee. And I said, like, yeah, just try this one. Try this. It's really nice. And sure. And she's like, oh, actually, yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, my son loves it. I love it. This is good coffee. This is, Tanzanian is my favorite. Um, I can tell because it's almost finished. And he, he only opened it yesterday. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, it's we're getting through it pretty fast. Um, it's it's I tell you what I like about it is there's mm -hmm. enough complexity in there to make it interesting, but it has got a very strong and this is going to sound so lowbrow, but it's got a very strong coffee flavor to it. So it's 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 wow. got that regular kind of espresso taste that I love and mouthfeel that I really like but with enough little complexity in there. It's, it's a little bit in some respects like Carvetti's Solitude, which I like also for that same reason, mm -hmm. that it's, it, it blends what that, you that, really want from a coffee with some complexity. That for a change in third wave, third, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. in third wave coffee for a change, it actually tastes like coffee. Yeah, it, Who exactly. Was that yeah, it's, 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 an, a it's very, a major it, achievement to get some coffee. Yeah, it's like we're... <laughs> Come with become full circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very unusual. Now you get coffees that you, you taste it and it's like, mm, mm, yeah. You it's taste the hint of dandelion yeah, and a little bit of cherry blossom on the breeze. Yes, and uh, and 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 then a little bit of uh, a hint of firestone and um, the, the summer fruits. Yeah, but where's the yeah. coffee? <laughs> Yeah, but where's the coffee? <laughs> I understand coffee? if I wanted a Lucasade, mate, you know. <laughs> oh, anyway, so look, I just wanted to say that. That's what I'm drinking. I'm mm. also drinking another one, which I've left behind. I'm going to go get that whilst you say, what are you drinking, Max? I am. I am drinking now um, from Peaberry Coffee. And it's um, the Finca El Mirador, which is uh, a very unusual name for me very nice to colombian it's uh, very buttery i find it uh, find it quite interesting because it's got some cocoa uh, flavors and it's got quite a lot of fruitiness so it's, it's not excessively uh, acidic it doesn't have too much fruit on it but i'm having actually as per usual recently i'm having it a lot as pour over i haven't had espresso with these for a while I tried another one from, from Peaberry before, uh, and I forgot what the name was. It was very nice, but it was very quiet as a coffee. Can you, can you say quiet? Can you no, say you can't. Quiet? Come you up with another quiet. word. No. Um, it was very um, muted. as um, It wasn't everywhere. It was actually a very nice uh, cup of coffee because you have the, uh, uh, the underlining coffee flavor, and then there was some... Um, some flavors here and there coming up, but you really had to go and look for them, which was very ple pleasant as a pour over. Uh, as a pour over, though, I like these a lot. It's uh, Finca El Mirador. It's very, very nice. Finca El Mirador. Yeah, and it's Colombian. Uh, it's really nice. It's uh, So here it says butter, cacao nibs, wild blackberry, and mandarin in the tasting notes. I can tell it's actually quite fruity and pleasant, but I, I wouldn't go up that far just yet. Mm. And then I have these waiting for later, which has uh, floral, mango, which really got me. And then mm -hmm. I, I didn't read the next one, which, is, which says lemon. <laughs> so I might regret that, but nuts and chocolate. Nuts and chocolate are always good. Nuts and chocolate is good. It's basically is coffee flavored. I mean, that's what that's what coffee flavor means. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. They're very very nice these ones, and uh, I I'm actually having lots of pour overs these days. I find it very soothing because I want. So you're going to gonna be the pour over guy, and I'm going to be the espresso guy. It turns out that uh, yeah, I think I'm. It's growing on me a lot, and I just realized one thing. Um. So I have the pour over kit. I have the uh, good coffee machine, a good espresso maker. I have a mocha pot. I don't have uh, an AeroPress. I just realized I do not have an AeroPress. I need an do, AeroPress. Do you need one? Yes. Why? Because it's, a, it's another coffee gizmo. It is a coffee gizmo. I, mean, I, I've got one. I hardly gizmo. ever use it. I have to say, I, I would, if I'm going to spend the time, I would uh, I would do a pour over if I wanted something aeropressy. Mm -hmm. uh, I probably I actually prefer a mocha pot to an aeropress, but that could it's be because my aeropress technique is not good. It's two different things because in the mocha pot you're actually going under pressure, slightly under pressure, and you mm -hmm. you're, you're 
you're uh, brewing with uh, um, superheated water. Mm -hmm. so you're actually brewing with water at, that can be at around 105 degrees or less. Right. But instead, on the narrow press, you can actually do the, the pour over steeping. So you can actually determine the, the temperature of the water it goes in. You steep and then you can extract. Basically, you filter down your. Yeah. I know. And, I mean, I, it's a steep, it's a steep brewing method. Yeah. I, I just, for, in terms of flavor, mm -hmm. um, I just tend to prefer, if I'm going to go for that kind of thing, a more volumed coffee, and then I want the coffee to be reasonably strong mm. and coffee-ish. And um, I'm, you know, I'm so if I wanted to go sort of floral and fruity type thing, I'd do a pour over. And if I want to go sort of coffee-ish and and good sort of strong smooth. Uh, mouthfeel, I would go with uh, mocha pot. Um, so the AeroPress kind of just somehow falls in between, although it is very convenient to carry around, but then I don't travel anymore. So I just like, <laughs> nobody who does, does right? So it, it's sort of, it sits there on my windowsill looking very sad, got a little sad face on it. Um, yeah, I, 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 it could just be, I need to practice my te technique more. And I know there's so many different methods and I've tried the inverted method and you know, I've tried different papers and doubling up the papers and all that kind. Of, I've tried, I've tried a lot of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. What I probably haven't tried is is uh, a, enough adjustment on the on the coffee grinds. I, I probably mm. need to play around with that a little bit more and see if I can get better flavor out of it. But I sort of feel like I get great results with a mocha pot. I get great results with a V60, and I get great results on my espresso machine. What's missing in my life? Um, nothing. No, but anyway, for me, it's just another gizmo that is cool to have. And it's, I mean, at, at the price point that it it's has. so cheap, it is so cheap. And you just need a kettle and, you know, some papers. No, you're not wrong. And also for a lot of people who don't have espresso machines um, and maybe don't have a budget to get a decent espresso machine, uh, it, it's, it's sort of a, it's an opportunity to, to drink good coffee. As long as you've got a yeah. decent grinder, I guess. How exactly. important is it? You know, let's not steer off from that thing. So. I'm ah. drinking because we're going to go back we're to the plumbing. Going into something Jeez, very interesting. We almost went into that. We'll do that another time. I'm also drinking uh, this. Oh, that's These a are... manly coffee. That looks like a manly coffee. <laughs> I am, after all, a very manly man, as I've explained to you on many occasions, Max. <laughs> uh, so this is Anvil. Um, I, I just I googled coffee roasters in my area. Oh, well, so actually, sorry. you forgot just, one that is very close sorry, to you. Just Google's listening to me. Just shh. Sorry. Yeah. No, I haven't forgotten the one that's very close to me. Which one is very close to you? Peabury. No, Karuna oh. Coffee. Who? Karuna Coffee. I don't know. They are not the shirt. Very nice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I, was, uh, I was in Aldershot yesterday. Yeah, very nice. Mm. Okay, I'll pick up something from them. Uh, that's actually really good. I'll pick up something from them next. So um, this is Anvil Coffee. Mm -hmm. Anvil but Coffee maybe. Roasters. Uh, and uh, they have taken the utilitarian naming methodology of giving it numbers. So this is Anvil That's, number three. It works. Yeah. 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 It, it works, works, right? It works for Chanel. It can work for anyone. So it's a black bag with a white label, uh, which saves on printing costs because there's no color. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it just says Anvil number three, Brazil and Rwanda. And I was kind of sold on the Brazil and Rwanda because I like Rwandan coffee. But Brazilian mm. coffee has is, is got the sweetness to it. And I'm thinking, mm, that'll taste nice. And you know what? It tastes nice. Done. Where are they from? Brazil and Rwanda. The Anvil. Oh, I don't know. They're from um, Hampshire somewhere. They're from, I can hold on a second. The Forge. They're from the Forge. Oh, that's why they're Hampshire. called Anvil. Yeah. Uh, look, the, the, you have to go look them up. It's anvilcoffee.co.uk. <laughs> okay. Um, and they're somewhere in Hampshire in the place called the forge. Mm. You'll find them just. What kind of up. roast is it? Uh, you want to see the beans? Yeah. I mean, it's a medium roast. Um, yeah, it smells okay. Mm. Uh, they taste better than they smell. Uh, hold on. Let me just get those beans up for the camera. And annoy everybody who's who's listening on the podcast and we just talk like this. Oh, you can't see me. Actually, you know, I'm going to move the camera. There. I'm um, dropping the damn beans. <laughs> they look quite nice, actually. It's, um, 
that's that's quite um a, a dark darkish medium roast no i think that's the camera okay um it's no it's the camera it's it's not a darkish medium roast it's uh it's a it's a medium medium roast says nick amble for right to me it was actually a dark medium roast nick got that wrong <laughs> um i don't think so i think it's a medium re- i'd argue with him I roasted them, Nick. I think I know what I'm talking about. I think, well, I had to disagree with you, but I'm afraid these are not a dark medium roast. I think if you examine your roaster, your settings will be adjusted as per so. Um, as dark. As, yeah. <laughs> don't you love those people who tell you, like, they're not, they don't know anything and they tell you, you know, they start telling you your business. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I get that on a, on a weekly basis that people, people tell me how to do my job. Yeah, I can't wait to meet a brain surgeon and then explain to him how he should do his job better. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so, so that's the coffee we're drinking. Yeah. Back to uh, the main topic, which was plumbing this machine. Plumbing so let me rocket. tell you. So let me tell you what I'm doing because it's kind of aligned with what you were saying. Uh, but there's more. There's more there's to it more. than that. Yeah. Because I had a, I had a plumber come along and look at it. So I basically just wanted to present to Adrian a hole a plum a what do you call not plum a <laughs> talking about plum here's a plum uh i want to give him a tube <laughs> a tube or a tap or something you know ah. that you can just go just plug it into that mate that's what i want to say yeah um so what i wanted to do is, is split it off like you said because in the rest of the house i wanted to install a soft water filter yes that's right? actually a very good idea it's a very good idea not in the um, tap water but the rest of the house, it's a very great idea. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, uh, so, so that's what we wanted to do because obviously reduce lime scale and all the rest of it. So uh, looked, the under the, looked under the sink and, and now I know enough to ask questions like, um, where does the water come in? Is that your mains tappy thing? I don't want to get too technical with you, Max, because I don't want to leave, leave, leave you behind. Fine. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's all right. So, so a plumber came around and he looked under the thing and he was going to quote me for installing uh, a soft water thing mm. and, and creating the Y yes. for, the, for the, uh, the feed for the, uh, for the coffee machine to be plumbed in. And then he said, he looked under there and he goes, he goes, but Nick, you've already got a soft water filter. And I looked under, I said, what do you mean? He's like, well, that's what that big filter is there that says water filter. I was like, I didn't look. Like, why should I look? I don't know. I just moved in. I assume they didn't have one. Turns out they do have one. And is I said, the water filter or water softener? It's ah, no, it's a, it's a electronic magnetic e water filter thing that actually, don't eat that. Don't even start with that because whatever, it's there, right? And. Yes. <laughs> And so that is currently filtering all the water. So he's going to take from the mains tap, uh, he's going to take a feed off of that, create a new expose and present a new tap hose pipe thing to Adrian that he's going to plug into. But then he said two other interesting things. Mm-hmm. He said, first of all, he said, why is your oven making that noise? And I said, I don't know, mate, it always makes that noise when it starts up. It's why right is your what? Oven making that oven. noise. I was cooking. Okay. Why is your oven making ah. that noise? And I said, I don't know, Nick. His name's Nick. Uh, I don't, so I <laughs> don't must know, have Nick. Been entertaining. Do I look technical to you? And he said, Hold on, let me have a look at it. And he got a pair of pliers or something. He looked, he stuck his head in the oven. Let me just adjust the camera here. So he got the best looking image of me possible. Um, is that possible? I don't know. Oh, God. I think I'm going to throw up. <laughs> just, also because just of the stay face. there. All right, maybe I can just scoot down. Maybe I can be smaller. <laughs> Um, change he, the, the table thing, no? I could change the table thing. Hold on. Is that, oh, now, oh, <laughs> now, the, <laughs> now the camera's gone. Oh, this is so annoying. All right. So, uh, he looked in the oven and he said, Oh, Nick, your problem you're is you good. No, I'm not. Stop. Good. Stop so I'm standing now. Stand. I'm going to sit. No, I'm, I'm I lower down the desk. Now I lower the desk. All right. So he goes into the oven and he says, oh, this is your problem. And he pulls out a pair of pliers and he pulls something from that. And then it stops making a noise. And um, so I said, thanks very much, Nick. And he said, so I've got nothing to do then, have I? I said, not really. Thanks for driving out here, though. <laughs> it's like an hour drive. 
So off he goes. Uh, having you know determined that I don't need a water filter after all, because he's pointed out to me, and he fixed my oven for free, uh, and then left. Uh, but um, he did say one other thing that was useful, uh, which he didn't mm -hmm. charge me for, which was he said, "You realize you've got a pressure reduction system in here." Mm -hmm. And I never even thought. I don't know why such a thing existed, but I never even thought about it. But now I do think about it now. Like, does it matter how much pressure you're presenting to your coffee machine? No. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you were going to have a big <laughs> story about how that's really important. As long as it's above a certain threshold, which is um, one or two bar, you're fine. Yeah, I think it was uh, two bars. Yeah, two, or, two is fine. It's uh, pretty standard. Four uh, is normally where, where it sits at if, um, if you're not, um, if you don't have a, a water, uh, sorry, a pressure reducing system. But right. It's the thing is, it actually makes it more stable because depending on the time of the day, mm -hmm. your water pressure will be higher or lower. Hmm. Because a lot, if a lot of people in the morning, if a lot of people that do take showers, yeah, your water pressure is going to Gonna be much drop. lower. Yeah, so you might actually have um, the water pressure sitting at two or three. Got you. Well, this all makes perfect sense. So that's it. So um, that, that's basically what's going to happen is the Nick's going to come back uh, and he's going to fit. Uh, I might even pay him this time. He's going to fit <laughs> a, uh, a, a, a feed, a feed off of the thing. Uh, um, and, uh, and then Adrian's going to come tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He's going to do a bit of a site survey, check it out. And he's going to walk around, suck his teeth and pull out a tape measure and say something, you know, engineery um nice, nice guy he seems really nice i spoke to him he seems really nice and the coffee machine's right next to the sink ultimately i think this is going to be pretty simple for me so the should so be. it should be but you never know let's uh let, let's see thanks what max happens because yeah uh, i appreciate the uh, vote of confidence there it's not that it's uh oh. it, it makes the show interesting yeah. yeah otherwise it's god knows it's boring otherwise people are <laughs> gonna go like oh <laughs> Yeah, he plumbed in his coffee. He plumbed it in yeah. and it works. It was, it was, oh, God, so I'm going to unsubscribe immediately. Exactly. Um, all right. So I will, I will uh, engineer some kind of explosion, Max, uh, by which uh, I... Don't worry. I don't think you need to engineer it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. Um, <laughs> and what he's going to do, what he's recommended for me mm -hmm. is uh, Britta. A Brita uh, coffee filtering system. And he said the reason why mm -hmm. is because your uh, coffee, um, the amount of coffee that you make, you yeah. need to have different sides. They're basically, they come, you, got the, you buy into the system, mm -hmm. but the filters themselves come in different capacities, like 50, 100, 150, whatever. Yeah. And he said, you'll probably only need a 50, but if you're having to change it after six months, I don't have to change the whole system. I can just rotate out the 50 and put a hundred in or a 150 or something. Mm. And I thought that kind of sounds good. So the process is going to be as such. Uh, he will come, he will take a sample of water. Mm -hmm. uh, he will send that to a lab and people in white coats and pens in their top pocket will examine it uh, and determine exactly what kind of settings I need for my uh, filter. Mm. He'll then buy the British system, tune it in, come back when Nick's um, set up the, uh, the, the feed and use my fancy braided cables. And that's it. Bob's your uncle. I will have a plumbed in system. Dan. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And then you must come around for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> how's Tuesday? I'll check with the ex who's not here. Uh, right, right, right. And we'll, I mean, we'll, Wednesday is fine too. Yeah. Any time. Yeah. Sure. We'll keep in touch. Next five weeks. We'll keep in touch. Yeah. We we'll should talk. talk let's, again. let's keep talking. We'll talk again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All righty, Max. Anything else from you, sir? Oh, not much actually. Nothing. Nothing major new. It's. Uh, I've been. I've. I've been using this a lot. How are you getting on? Uh, we've been using. I tell you what. Okay. So here's the, here's an interesting thing. Uh, just the last tidbit, and then we'll go. Um, is that uh, as you can see, I've got a one kilo bag here, 
Mm -hmm. I've got a 500 gram bag here. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that the 500 gram bags are more convenient if you're rotating different coffees. Because what I will do, so here's what we do. Here's my coffee drinking methodology is that uh, whatever beans are in the hopper, mm -hmm. the other beans, when we want to make a different coffee, go into the hand grinder. Yeah. And this is um, particularly efficient if you've got 500 gram bags, because I only open the bag when I need it, I pour it into the hopper. Um, and then I just the make it. Yeah. 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 And that just seems to work really well. Because the so one I'm kilo bag that you can't, you can't, they don't have the Ziploc system. They don't have a Ziploc system, a lot of bags. Yeah. So I'm going to start buying, and this is a massive price differential. I start buying my bags in, in 500 gram, I prefer to get two 500 gram bags than uh, a kilo bag. Mm. That makes sense. That's an option. It actually turns out to be more expensive though. A little bit, but you know, mm. a, a pound or two or something. I don't know, it's just a lot more convenient. It's yeah. a lot more convenient. Right. Uh, it's a, you know, it's a feedback we could we could actually put out, make more one kilo bags that you can reseal. Yeah, and there must be some cost implication to that, but it's it's kind of annoying. Unfortunately for me, we 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 drink the coffee so bloody fast. Yeah, that it doesn't really matter. I have these actually. Mm. These Did you get those from Peabury? Did you get the those? The, no, the... no, no. This is just me cutting off the. No, I know, but the the case did I uh, I see them being oh is that from Amazon? Okay, these are um, these are fellows. Uh, ah, okay, uh, and they do the vacuum. So yeah, they have this system here that you go. Yeah, and that's your vacuum indication. Indication. Yeah. And, How do uh, you uh, do? You have to pump it. Yeah, like this. Oh, that's the pumping access uh, and mechanism it's vacuum already. Oh, okay. So that's it doesn't take long, and it's not uh, not a difficult action to do and it preserves the coffee and this keeps about uh, 600 grams of coffee you can you can shrink you can you can uh, push 800 probably mm -hmm. one kilo no you need two of these yeah no but that's okay because i mean i put some of it into the um some of it into the into the hopper yeah exactly so it, that's what i normally do i i keep i keep two of these and uh, i have one that i that is the this one uh, for the for the new coffees and the the older ones, uh, I tend to have it in a transparent one. I have a glass one. Right, right. Uh, makes a lot these. of sense. Yeah, I rotate my coffees in it, and it actually keeps the coffee very fresh. It's actually very nice. I'm, it's a little might... annoying at the beginning because when the coffee is very fresh, uh, it keeps off gassing. So you keep you keep finding that oh my god, it's not under vacuum anymore. Uh huh. Because it's producing lots of the uh, CO two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that's right. Um, that's but that's what it should do for the first week. Yes, but it, these these work really well. These are called fellow something. Well, I've got fellow thing. fellow coffee can. Yeah, and it'll, they it'll, yeah I'm I'm going to buy one. I don't have anything like that at the moment. Yeah, they're, they're very good. I I really recommend those. Nice. As, uh, there was the, the the usual suspect that did a review on that, and they actually worked well. <laughs> Yeah. Oh well, I'm, I'm. I'll get one regardless. Um, yeah. All right, Max. That is fantastic. Uh, another week is in the can. Uh, we have to have a. We have to have a. Um, we canned it a again. Sign off. We have to. Can we have a sign off? Yes. Sort of we, we canned it again. No. Uh, another no. week is in the can. Another. Another. Another can in the week. Uh, the beans are back in the bag. The be we've ground another. The we've ground another one out. We ground Ooh. another. It's it's getting there. It's, we're working it. Come up with something for next week, Max. That's your homework. Okay, I'm gonna come up with something very cringy. Oh, of course <laughs> you would. Why wouldn't you? All right, my friend. Have a great. Right. I was gonna say have a great weekend. It's over. Get back to work. Yeah, coffee time's have over. A, have a great back to work in the end. What?